Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking you through my monthly favorites for the month of March. Now, I know I didn't really post many videos in March, so I figured a monthly favorites would be a good way to show you what I've been loving and using even though I haven't been showing you online. So to start, I've been loving this Milk Makeup Sunshine Oil. This actually came in a little set I got from Sephora that was like mini glow or highlighting items. When I got the kit, I went straight for the actual highlighters and fancy shimmery glowing things and sort of ignored this little guy. I wasn't really sure what to do with it, but since I figured it out, I've been loving it. It's basically a face oil. So the way I like to use it is I just take the roller ball and maybe I'll demonstrate for you now. I kind of just dab it on my cheekbones. Sometimes it doesn't work that well over makeup. Like I'm a little hesitant to use it right now on my face. Certain powder highlights or powder makeup can sort of lift if you put oil on top of it. It's kind of like using an oil makeup remover. So for me, I like to use this on days when I'm just using a tinted moisturizer or kind of like a light foundation on my face. And then I'll use this instead of a highlight. So I usually don't go crazy with powder highlights in combination with the oil. But it just provides a really nice natural glow. It's not sparkly, but it's definitely a highlight. It just kind of makes the light catch on the high points of your cheekbones, which is exactly what I'm looking for. Sometimes I don't need that extreme shine. Today is not one of those days, however. If you like this crazy, glossy, black eye look face makeup that I have going on, make sure you check out my video on this make tutorial. It should be up before this video. So yeah, Milk Sunshine Oil. It's great stuff. It's a whole new way to highlight. Next thing I've been loving is actually a nail polish combo. These are the Deborah Lippman polishes in Flesh for Fantasy and Totally Nude. Wow, I had never read those names until now. Um, but yeah, they look like this. I've had these painted on my nails for like three straight weeks. I only switched to red like the other day. But what I've been doing with this is going down first with the pink shade, which is Totally Nude, and then doing a coat of the more kind of white one on top of it. And I find that the combination is perfect. The pink is a little too pink on its own. The white I do like on its own, but if I want something a little more nude natural, then I'll combine the two. These are totally opaque. I find that one coat of each is plenty. And then I use a top coat over it. I use the Sesh Vite, so that might be what makes them stay so long on my nails. But these have been a staple. I really like nude nails for the spring and when I'm fake tanning, like right now. Speaking of fake tanning, I recently discovered the James Reed Gradual Tan H2O Mist. So this actually was just a little sample that I got from Bloomingdale's in like this big basket of sample-y things. And I was like, I don't know if this is gonna be something I will be able to use. I was skeptical, but what I've been doing is on days that I fake tan my body, I usually don't fake tan my face with the same tanning product. So I will take this, spritz it on at night before the rest of my nighttime skincare routine, and I kind of let it soak in to my skin for a few minutes before putting like creams over it and stuff like that. Let it dry, and then in the morning when I go to wash my face, it's just a really nice subtle tan glow. It's not as dark as the rest of my body usually, but that's okay because I tend to use tinted moisturizer on my face anyways. But it is nice for those moments when you're not wearing any makeup or tinted moisturizer, like say going off to the gym and you don't want to have a totally pale white face and tan body. It's nice to have a little, a little base glow on your face. And the good thing about this is that even if you do exfoliate every day and you tend to lose the tan on your face faster, this is a really quick step that you can do every single day at night so that you wake up with a tan in the morning. Another benefit of having it in spray form is that you don't risk getting tanning lotion on your hands and having that turn your hands orange. So there's no touching the tanning product. Spritz it on and go. My next favorite is from Orbe. This is a shampoo. This is the Orbe Classic Shampoo. So beautiful. Aside from the beautiful packaging, Orbe is one of my favorite hair care brands. I really like all of their products mostly that I've tried. And I adore the scent. That's basically one of the main reasons I use Orbe products. 
Mm, it smells so good. It's like the most beautiful perfume. I don't know how to describe it, but it's like classy and mature, expensive smelling. I'm a big fan. And I mean, as far as the shampoo, I think it does a good job. I can't complain. I also have the conditioner. I have a mini of the conditioner because since I cut my hair short, I find I don't need as much conditioner as I used to. Sometimes I don't even condition at all, which is crazy. So this has been my number one hair product in the shower. And Orbe products are pretty expensive, but if you don't wash your hair every day like me, then it'll last you a little bit longer and maybe it's worth it then, I think. My next monthly favorite is kind of boring. You've heard this before, but if I'm being honest about my true favorite products that I've truly been using and loving through the month, I can't leave out the Ardell Demi Wispies. I like to get these from Amazon in like multi packs because I use them so often. I'm wearing them today, it's my go-to eyelash. There's not much else to say about these other than if you haven't tried them yet, go buy them. And my last favorite of the month is actually a fashion favorite, which is crazy because I never do fashion favorites, but I've been wearing these boots almost every day. These are the Acne Studios Jensen's. Oh, that's like really close. Maybe I'll hold them farther away since they're kind of dirty. So I got these uh, a while ago, maybe a little over a month ago, and I've been wearing them constantly. Black boots are kind of a wardrobe staple for me and everyone else, I'm pretty sure. So I think that it's kind of a nice product to invest in and get something that's good quality and you can wear a while and will last and that's exactly what these are. They're super easy, they slip on with this elastic. They're really comfortable. I walked like five miles in these yesterday. Not an exaggeration, I had a photo shoot. An outdoor kind of street photo shoot. Anyways, I've worn these a lot and my feet don't hurt at all when I wear them. I did pick them up in the wrong size first. They were a little tight on my feet, but I went back and returned them for the correct size and everything is fine. They've been really comfortable from the first day I got them in the right size. And I highly recommend them. I hope that I will be able to wear these shoes for many, many years to come. As long as black boots don't go out of style, which I don't think is gonna happen. So that's it for my monthly favorites. Um, I hope that catches you up on some of the things I've been loving recently. I apologize for my YouTube absence, but I've got plenty more videos coming, so stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.